All right, guys. Hey, it's Clint here with ATS. Today, having some exciting stuff. We've been testing for months now on our Stage 2 VFR for the Dodge Cummins. And, you know, we all know the 6.7 Cummins is quite a powerhouse of an engine, but I'll tell you what, when you start giving this thing some airflow, it really starts to come to life. Today, we're testing on a 20 Ram. Um, you know, of course, the 20 all the way back to 07 half, they basically use the same turbocharger. And the turbocharger that we're talking about today is our Stage 2 turbo for the Ram, it's the VFR Stage 2 War 4000. And it uses a 64 millimeter compressor wheel. But the nice thing about it is, <clears throat> this is our upgraded Stage 2. And of course, I took it apart so you can kind of see some of the upgrade packs. Now, one of the things I don't want you to forget about is all of the VFR turbochargers have a ton of upgrades. You know, the high silica moly casting so they withstand the heat, brand new controller, the stainless steel vein packs, upgraded wheels. Well, now we have even a bigger compressor housing. So we have our 64 millimeter compressor wheel, which is allowing us some pretty substantial airflow. So we just got done testing on our RAM and based on what we ended up with, you know, of course, what we're talking about here is all emissions on stuff. So, of course, all these things work on trucks, you know, all these older trucks that have been, you know, emissions have been removed or whatever, but we focus on emissions on performance and drivability and durability. And what that means is we are providing turbochargers, all of our VFR turbochargers are designed around using either factory calibrations or a slightly modified calibration that uses all of the factory emissions equipment that maintains all the safety factors that give you that increased power level. We just dynoed this truck on a stock calibration, added our Stage 2 VFR, our War 4000, and it made 48 horsepower over stock and 91 foot-pounds of torque. Now, that's stock fueling. That's huge. That's all on airflow. That basically is meaning that we're getting more air density and a quicker spooling turbo to provide more power, more efficient burn in the cylinder. This turbo, when we turn it up, we're getting about 550 horsepower on a nice sustainable tune, like a nice tow tune, something you can drive every single day. You don't have to worry about soot loading. And then you really start leaning on this thing, start turning it up, and it's good for just a little bit over 600 horsepower. So our stage two VFR is basically good for when you, turn, when you really turn the fuel up and you wanna go fast, it's gonna make, it makes a little bit over 600 horsepower, which is just, just an incredible uh, turbo to be driving on the street. You start going above that, then all of a sudden, you know, you can push it, you can fuel it up more, you can push it above that. But when you start pushing more fuel, then you start getting hot, you start soot loading a little bit because you don't have the airflow. So you start dribbling basically black smoke into the DPF. It starts to pack it up. So you have to go through a lot of regions. So we really don't recommend using this turbo in, in applications above 600 horsepower, although it will go there. In that application, that's why we make the compounds. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's going to be like that 600 plus horsepower, 700, 750, then we've got you covered. But then you have to add another injector pump, you have to add the additional turbo, which that's our compound. So then you're talking about either, you know, your stock turbocharger on the bottom or a VFR and then a big 6500 turbocharger up top. And then that gives you the airflow to really make the horsepower. So looking for a nice drop in turbocharger, our stage one VFR is great. Stage 2 VFR is absolutely dynamite, it's priced great, they all carry the same full warranty on them, all new stuff, upgraded and ready to roll. So I know what your next question is, and this is for all of you guys out there that have already bought a Stage 1 VFR. I mean, I know there's a lot of you, well, I'm seeing you guys on Facebook, I'm seeing you chime in. I know a lot of you had to buy one because you had a broken turbo and you got a fantastic turbo. But for you guys, we have an outlet for you. If you guys want to add that, upgrade that to a Stage 2, we got you covered. You're just going to have to send your turbo in. We can turn it around. It takes about two days. Send your turbo in. We have to completely disassemble it. We basically go through it, rebuild it. So you get your new internal parts to turn it into Stage 2. It'll have your original actuator, original castings, everything else, and we get it back to you. So that's typically about a week turnaround by the time you ship it out until you get it back. So. Just give us a call, those of you guys that want to do that upgrade path, and we'll kind of get it, we'll have it priced out for you, give you a good idea what it's going to take, but it's a, it's a pretty reasonable deal. But we didn't forget about you. So now that we've powered up our truck, you know, do a little tune in it, put a turbocharger on it, you know, now we're starting to push some horsepower numbers, 500, 550, 600. 
first question is, what do we do with the tranny? And that is a good question to be asking, because you really don't want to ask that question after you've hurt your tranny. The factory trannies are not good for much overstock horsepower. That means as soon as you add a tune, you're really getting that point to where you're kind of overpowering the 68 RFE. You add a turbo, you're really getting up there. Add a bigger tune, you're, you're far past it. So the good news is, is the factory 68 is really a pretty damn good tranny these days. I mean, pretty much if you're into a, you know, an 11 or newer truck, then you've got a good 68 as long as you haven't heard it. There's a lot of upgrades you can do to it. Adding the co-pilot we've done on this one, um, just add the co-pilot. That gives you a nice bump in line pressure and some more control. You can add a deeper pan. You can add your case brace. You can add a billet channel plate. We've got our valve bodies available with our machined cast plate um, and full machine valve body or the billet channel plate and full machine valve body billet piston. So it's all stages. You can literally build your transmission up just by kind of going to the website, clicking, I want to add this much horsepower. This is what's recommended. So you can do your valve body, do your your case brace, do your um, pan, do your co-pilot, all those types of pieces, and they just all kind of stack on. And, and, and I'm gonna repeat myself again. This is to a stock tranny. You don't have to remove your transmission. The factory torque converter is not terrible. It does a pretty good job. Nice thing is, if you don't lean on the converter real hard, in other words, forcing lockup, then your factory converter does a pretty good job. You don't have to remove your tranny, but there is a slew of upgrades they can do these things. If you do end up having to go into the trannies, then we got you covered. You know, we've got our stage one that is a basic transmission. Um, your stage two now comes with a billet channel plate internally, full billet valve body, all the billet accumulators, all the double X ra rings, um, bored out switch valves, steel control valves, bigger pump, um, billet intermediate, and forward clutch hub big low roller clutch, which is a huge advent to the, to the entire build of it, heavy duty pump. So you will not find a better value in transmissions when you get into like an ATS stage two or stage three, it's just some stages up. So go to our website, atsdiesel.com. These things are pretty easy to install. We have a lot of video in install instructions. A lot of the stuff we've got rated on our website, that's something you can do at home by yourself, dropping the pan, dropping the valve body, is a pretty easy, pretty easy beginner deal. You know, if you're relatively mechanical, then you can take your valve body out by yourself, you can put it in. If you start getting into the transmission, that's when you're gonna to wanna, to, you know, have more experts um, in the field that actually know how to work on vehicles. So, you know, you, you have a lot of leeway there, one way or the other. You can always call our technicians here at ATS Diesel. Just get on the 800 line, give us a call. We can always give you tech advice, kind of lead you the right direction where you want to go. But these Ram trucks are, they're like, the, they're like the hot rods of the 60s, man. I mean, they are, they're awesome trucks. The inline six cylinder is easy to work on. Don't let the emission stuff scare you. It's, it's rock solid, it's bulletproof. What you need to be concerned about on the emission stuff, make sure you have a good reliable tune source. That's why we have all of our tuning available. You know, it's very self-explanatory if you go to a tune section on our website. The turbos are all drop-in replacements. All this stuff is designed to be a factory drop-in style replacement with all the upgrades. So you start adding all these upgrades together and you just basically start stacking on horsepower. And if you listen to some of our recommendations, we'll help you build that transmission up in stages so you don't smoke your tranny. Kind of like horror stories that you'll see out there. Yeah, I just put a 200 horsepower tune in my truck, go down the street, and next thing I know, my transmission's burned up. Now I'm talking about an $8,000 tranny. The $8,000 tranny is not what you're gonna need. You know, you can get these things really fixed up for you know, that $6,000 range for a brand new tranny and then it just goes down from there. I mean, we're talking $1,500, $1,800, $2,000 to upgrade these, these trannies. So, a lot of options, very exciting stuff. Stay tuned.